is Magda Mugrabi. She's the Deputy Middle East and North Africa Director with Amnesty International. Thanks ever so much for coming in. Now, this report is it, pretty grim reading, isn't it? I mean, how did you go about collating su such a detailed report? Well, of course, there is, you know, there is a wide range of information that exists about uh, torture in Syria. But for this report specifically, we spoke with 65 survivors uh, who have fled from Syria, uh, mainly um, into uh, Turkey. Um, and we have collected from them a very detailed testimony of the torture and other ill treatment that they have uh, suffered. We've corroborated this information um, with, by speaking to forensic specialists, by speaking to lawyers, by also analyzing the data that is available from other organizations. And crucially, we've also partnered with um, forensic architecture um, and try to rebuild a 3D model of one of the most notorious uh, prisons in Syria, Said Naya military prison. Now, I know you don't rank the, the prisons in, in terms of how torturous they are, but why, why Syria in, in particular? What, why d d is that one flagged up, if you like? Well, you know, what comes clear, very, very clear from these uh, interviews with survivors is that they endure torture and other ill treatment at every single stage of their journey. It's a lethal journey. People are uh, subjected to uh, repeated beatings, to sexual violence, to stress positions. Um, they are uh, tortured in, during interrogation, during transfer uh, between different uh, military branches. And then when they make their way into a prison, the torture there uh, continues. It's very uh, often that they're held in inhuman conditions. Uh, our research reveals that people are today dying not only because of the torture that they're subjected to, but also because of the inhuman conditions uh, that they're living under. This includes overcrowding, starvation, and uh, a lack of medical care. It's an important piece of research that, that you've put together, but what, what would you like to see happening next? What would you like the, the impact of this report to be? Sure. I mean, it's, uh, we hope that this report is going to be a wake-up call for the international community. Uh, the Syrian authorities do know exactly what they need to be doing today. They need to allow unfettered access to uh, uh, human rights observers, independent human rights observers, including the UN Commission of Inquiry, um, they need to provide access to, to lawyers yeah. um, and, and family members and crucially states which are involved in the peace talks that are due to recommence need to ensure that the issue of detention, the issue of torture is included at the top of um, the agenda. So keep it at the top of the agenda and keep those lines of communication open. Well, Magda McGrawby from Amnesty International, thank you very much. Thank you.